like this paint everywhere. It's right, isn't it? I love it. It's I'm just actually, it's a bit bare, isn't it? No, it's not bare at all. It's well, fucking full of mess, man. Well, yeah, but it's a bit bare compared to how it was before the exhibition. Well, all I can say is that I'm sitting down in a pair of jeans and I'm conscious that I might need to buy a new pair. There's so much paint around here, bro. Mm. You know? Look at your jeans. Yeah, the more jeans. Yeah. yeah, well, I don't want my jeans to look like that. These are old jeans, though. Yeah, well, these are new jeans. Oh, uh, right. You didn't tell me to wear old jeans here. Well, no. No. It's, but, you know, Look, beyond the studio. Yeah, okay, okay. Fine, my fault. <laughs> now, Pug, beyond, like, the jeans you've just fucked up for me, yeah. can you talk to me about this recent art fair that you put on a show uh, on in Sydney? Because, as I understand it, you drew Barrier 1 and uh, everyone thought you were shit hot, or do, is there... No, that's about right. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, <laughs> let's no. unpack shit hot. Can we I just... got... Somehow, I got given stall one, which was, I don't know, a bit yeah, of a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. You draw the pole. Yeah. Which we thought... It was good. No, nah, yeah, well, we thought it was good to start with, didn't we? Yes, we did. Because... I remember what I called, I called you, and I said, yeah. I don't know if this is... Yeah, I had a sense... I don't know if this is a... Because if, you, if you're a horse and you draw barrier one, well, you're going to have to punch up and use your speed, right? Yeah. But you're a back marker. Yeah, exactly. And you got you got stuck in the pack a bit, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. And you couldn't find... But you did get out. I got out. You hit the line. Your last 200 was exceptional. Oh, yeah, probably the probably your last 200 was best race sexual. Of the day, I of think. Day. Yeah, I reckon it was like <laughs> 11, 1101, your last furlong. <laughs> and I was like, well, get on him next stuff. <laughs> yeah. So what did you move? What what were people Sold. interested in? Um, what did I sell? Um, I saw two that size. Well, no which, one can say that. So uh, yeah, well, I don't know, about twelve hundred medium size. Would you yeah, say twelve medium. about just under? Well, uh, probably about a, a little, yeah, between around just under eleven hundred. Yeah. High. Okay. Yeah. Um, so two of them. Yeah. Okay. Which I did last at the end. And what were they? Pictures of like uh, landscape, no, flowers, big abstract ones. They were actually really nice. All your stuff. One was nice, really right? yellow. One was a very yellow. autumn. Very, is it autumn? Yeah. Well, is it, it is autumn, autumn now, but. And now, what's 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 more yellow? Spring. I think so. Yeah, it was very spring. I think autumn's more purple. So there was one that was very spring. Yeah. And then there was one that was really white and black, so it was very winter. Mm. Yeah. What is your what months do you like the best? I like this month. I love autumn. Autumn. I, the I used to. Yeah. yeah. I meant. Sorry, I said months. I yeah. meant seasons. But I used to not really like anything but summer and winter. But now I love autumn and spring. Yes. I've switched, and that's what you painted. So they're both gone. Yeah. So no one can buy them. They went. One of them actually went to a guy. Um, I can't remember which one he bought. He. Um, he's a. Uh, him and his daughter turned up. He's a barrister in Sydney. Yeah. And, or, yeah, he was a barrister. And he looked at it and then walked around and came back to mine and bought it. Yeah. And we had we got to chatting. He actually, he said, where, asked me where I was from. I said, Newcastle. And he goes, um, oh, I grew up in Newcastle. Really? In Stanley Street. Really? And I was like, oh, wow, one of my best mates lives in Stanley Street, like number yeah. 12 or 10 or something. Yeah. He's like, I grew up in... 30, 32 or 38 you know, or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. And he's like, and he looked at my name and he's like, oh, look, he goes, you probably, uh, you probably wouldn't know or you, you might be a bit too young to, to remember, but there was a, a famous horse trainer from Newcastle with your last name. <laughs> How'd went, you play it? I went, yeah, yeah, no, no that's no. my dad. <laughs> See, uh, interesting. I would have gone a bit softer. So who's that? Oh, Max, you mean Max Lee's? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was it, um, <laughs> was it Luskin Star? Was that his horse? <laughs> Coronation Day. Yeah. Coronation cut, Day. Was it Coronation yeah. Day? What do you remember? Oh, yeah. Snippets. Yeah, Snippets too. Well, yeah, I was very young at that stage, but of course he was my dad, so yeah. I knew everything. No, it's Imagine how he would have dropped his know. milk when you left that on well, him. Well, no, he was a really nice guy. He goes, I didn't really, I didn't know much about uh, racing, but he used to play... Uh, golf in the middle of the track 
Oh, really? Alaskan star garden with a, with a bloke who was a uh, in the middle of the you, track. Yeah, he did. Yeah, they used. To, I think they used to have a little golf. Like the good old days. Yeah. Why don't they do that now? I don't know. And they he had a a friend who was a big punter. He was either an SP bookie or he was like actually a, a bookie or something like that. Yeah. I forget his name, but yeah. He, so he bought it. He bought it. And it was his daughter's birthday and all that. And, um, Isn't he used it, to put a sentence just sitting there watching us talk. And he's like, hey, kids, this. Isn't it funny how, like, sometimes coincidence seems to chase you around? It's like, of all the fucking gin joints in all the yeah, world, exactly. this guy chose your pain to be interested yeah. in it. And he grew up fucking around the corner. Around the corner. Well, what are the odds of that? Like, literally 38 Stanley Street. I would have been going to my mate's place. Do you, I don't know if you know Zahn. He was Sam Stewart's stepson. Slamming Sam? Yeah. Oh. And I played footy with him. He Not Slamming Sam? No. No, but you would be played, dead if you played against Slamming yeah, Sam. Yeah, I know. But he, um, he grew up on the corner of Stanley National Park, which would have been around, thir- like, near the 30s. Wow. So that guy would have been... Yeah. Do you want to hear another coincidence story? Yeah. Went to Sydney Tuesday, fucking drove across the spikes the wrong way, flattened both tyres, right? Save you the fucking heartache, but seven hours later we get it fixed. Have to get a hire car, come back to Newcastle, get to this footy park, and I look down and it's like, flat tyre. Of a hire car. Oh, right. I've had two flat tyres in my life, and then I've had three in two days. That's about the same as the barrister. Yeah, it's similar. It's about 10,000 to one, <laughs> right? Well, how do you run over the spikes? Because it was just complicated, pug. It wasn't my fault. Well, it sort of was, but I don't take full... <laughs> yeah, okay, it was fine. Yeah. Well, no, he waved me through. Oh, uh, right, The okay. guy said, no, no, come on, push yeah. through. And I was like, fine, I'll, I'll back you. Yeah, okay. And then he fucked me. <laughs> now, the art show, the art fair's over. The art so, fair was over, so I'd only ran for four days. Yeah, But so, it was good. We shall not waste time on that, which is surrender yeah, to the good, past. Though. Yeah, I, I, sort of look, I get it. I get it. I get it. I, sort of, I had a good couple of. Do you know the the um? Like, this is there was some of the people that I talked to were like were really really good. Like they were, um, and they weren't the ones that were really sort of artsy. They were just yeah, like, yeah. Just like that bloke, the Phil, Phil. Uh, Ah, Phil Graham Philip or something like that. You know what? He was really, he was really. I had a good chat with him for about yeah, half hour. Yeah. And these two other blokes are from around Manly, and um, fucking blind. Yeah. <laughs> they were they were half cut. Yeah. It was fucking hilarious. Sick. For about half hour, just sitting there chatting with them. <laughs> Is sick. that when you reckon you do your best work? What talking to those guys? When you, when, yeah. No, just when you're half cut. Oh no, I don't. No. Don't you? No. Yeah, because you don't want to be fully cut, or no. then you stop making sense. Yeah. But when you're half cut, actually, it's really about that 30% mark of being mm. cut. That's a that's a powerful position to be in. Your inhibitions are gone, but you've still got coherence. Like four beers deep. Yeah, yep. exactly. Yeah. It's like they should... Yeah. The pharmaceutical company should be onto that. Yeah. Um, so... But it was good. I sold a few... I saw so, a few other little ones and stuff as well. And obviously this comes off the back of some more recent success. So you seem to be going bang, 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 right? And we're building a bit of a building a bit of a, a buddy uh, what do you call it? Record. Yes. A form. Like if I'm looking at the form guide here, I've gone Pugalese, second in a benchmark, eighty eight, Randwick Sad Day, mm. half a length. Mm. And then it's just like, wow, well, this guy could be listed. So that was in March, then April, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, coming off a good spell, I, I, I placed first up. And you're not a first up specialist. Uh, no, I take a few. I take a little yeah, bit. exactly. But you place first up. And when you came back to the mountain yard, everyone went, oh, yeah. he's going all right. Yeah. So, well, you've had, you, you know, you're now what? How many runs back have you had? Three. Yeah, so... What happens next could be pretty next level. Yeah. Well, you could be closing out. If you don't draw pole one and you just get a suck into it, get on the back of something. Well, that's, yeah, if I had been in the middle, 
Yeah. I reckon if I had been. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, no. Because people come in, they look at you, and then they go around to all the other stores, and there's over 100. There is one races. Like that, right? And yeah. then they're like, oh, I've seen everything, but they might have seen something they liked from know. and then gone and forgot. I know. Right? Barry's win races. Yeah, so. And you know. Maybe I'll do it again. It's a pity we couldn't hire like Tim Clark or something. Tommy Berry. Yeah. Just at ride. Yeah. So, but, but usefully, you know, I mean, I can't imagine that you're sharing the stage at your next show. Like it's got to be some sort of solo thing that you'd do next. Um. Maybe. No, well, I had that. I had a solo. I had a group. Show? Yeah, yeah, you did that, but and then you did another thing, and that's smash, did. smash. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's you've gone, you know, first up, second, yeah, you know, second up, one, you won that one by length. Yeah. Third up, you you, you won that by three lengths yeah. actually. Okay. So you've gone two, one, one, and you get better as you go. Yeah. Right. But next up, what is next up? To you, because everyone's asking that question. What's now? What's next? Um, well, I've got, I've got to show you. I, I just booked a show in September. Okay, so that's going to just be all you. Yeah. So that you're going to draw all the barriers. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's kind of no possible way you can lose unless you fall off, basically. Yes. Or if you're stepping up in distance. Yeah, you are too. So, so I had the group show. Yeah. Which yeah. went well. Went then very I had, well. Then I had the pop-up solo one, which was a yeah. like weekend. And you smashed that. Which I won. So now I'm stepping up to, In a, distance. to maybe like a... Yeah, you know, but you're ready for it. 1,800. Mm, I think it's 2,000. 2, it's a classic well, distance. Two weeks. Yeah. yeah. But it's also listed or group three, mm. I think. It's like if you win this, if you just put three on them, yeah. well, this could be like... Well, we might have a cup's horse on our hands. You know? Imagine that. Yes. Imagine if you end up running at Caulfield Cup. Mm. What would be the equivalent? Like the Archibald Prize or something? Win, yeah, the Archibald or the win. The win? Um, well, I'm let's putting, win this one first, though. I'm putting one, there's one up there, uh, which I'm putting in the Kilgore here in Newcastle. Okay. Yeah, well, you win that. Hopefully. That'd be great. Do you reckon we can get a market on that? Speaker off. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I'm chips in on that. Yeah. Um, so the next, uh, just a brief teaser for those um, champion the bit to understand more about this September show. Can you give us any insight into like what you feel like it's going to be at the moment? Yeah, I, sort of. I've started um, planning it already. I went and I went and met the went and, went to the gallery yesterday. Yeah. Had a look, measured things out. Yeah. Work planned a few things. Yeah. Just rough. Yeah. Ideas for now, and based on that, and then they might change. But yeah, they're going to be larger pieces, not as big as that big one, not as big as that big canvas there. Yeah. Well, that's huge. That's huge. And no one can see that, but that's basically the size of a house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about? Like the last show that you did, which was pop up, it was inspired by place, by Newcastle, by Newcastle, by what we, you know, the things that we did as kids. Yeah, it's like you know, like remember when we used to after school we'd catch the bus back to your place before rugby training. Yeah, and then we'd walk. Yeah, down either the, down the Hickson Street stairs. Yeah, yeah. Remember how many times we did that? Like, oh, so many times. Like heaps. If we did that every day now, we. Die. He's so healthy. Yeah, we well, die. Yeah. We would also die. Or we go the other way down Charlotte to Gibbs Brothers, and remember, you used to walk down that laneway. Yeah, and that dog would. I know. Yeah, I remember the dog. So I named all those like. Yeah. After that, um, that um, you know, just things like that. I mean, there was one where I put four together, four little canvases all together. Yeah, I saw that one. Called Meet at the Junction. <laughs> really. And you know, just things like that. What was the was the under fifteens? There was a portrait of uh, like a like a self portrait of me. Of under fifteens. Yeah. Was it of you or was it of me? Well, it was me. Was I it? Had green hair. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Um, so, do you remember the poem that you found and put in the middle of that? Do you remember how that went? 
I was very struck by it when you showed uh, it. When yeah, you showed it, it was. To me. Um, oh, I can't hang on, it let me try and find it here. What? Um, hang on, you sent it to me. Hang on, let me flick through it. Hang on, Longfellow. He's name oh, yeah, yeah, I've got it. Often I think of a dear old town seated by the sea. Mm. Often in thoughts go up and down the same old streets of that dear old town, and my youth comes back to me. That's it. And the thoughts of that song sing on and are never still. A boy's will is the wind's will. Yes. And the thoughts of youth are long, long thoughts. That was beautiful, man. Why did you choose that? Um, did it just, just feel yeah. like it was fit for the exhibition? I think it did. Do you think it did? Fucking oath, I think man. It, did. it was spot on. Yeah. Because it's like how I feel when I'm rolling around Newcastle. It's like, you know, they're just streets, they're just trees, they're just the same old shit that you see everywhere else but somehow it's not that it's a yeah. feeling it's home yeah it is you know going to Townsend yeah oh you know it's not a footy oval no it's Townsend it's Townsend yeah it's a, it's, it's like Bar Beach it's home it's not a beach it's home so, I've been there every day this week yeah have you have, to use the gym yeah at Townsend Oval, but I've been there every day yeah it's just like how good is it it's great it's the best thing oh, in the world it. we used to that was the best I would have run out on, wasn't it, as a junior? It was, Because yes. you did get those rooms upstairs. Yeah. Do you know how pumped up we used to be? Oh, it was great. And that smell of, what was that, Vassal? Denkerub. Denkerub. And the sound of, like, studs on concrete. Yeah. Oh. So all that, all those things played a part in that Yeah, and you, exhibition. you could feel it, I think. That's the thing. But placing that poem in the middle, for me, just made me feel it more, you know? Yeah. Like... And I loved, I, I just loved it. Well, there was a Susan Gilmore piece as well, wasn't there? There was, a Susan, there was uh, one called The Archives of Susan Gilmore. Yeah, that was beautiful, man. Which, I, which sold? Yeah, um, no shit. To, uh, to a young bloke. He came and picked it up the other day. Um, he loved it, yeah. Yeah, everyone fucking loved it. Um, and then I sold most of them. I think I sold, there was 12 pieces I sold. Seven? Yeah. Seven out of the twelve. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, you know, it was only there for one day. Well, it was one night, then one day, and then it's usually only one, one night, one day, but then by popular demand it opened for the Sunday. Which yeah, Brett, but if we had just left Brett it open... doesn't really do that. If we had left it open, right, <clears throat> then... People would have just been saying, can you paint me one on the spot and I'll buy it now? Because the 12 would have been gone. You know? Yeah. And so, last exhibition you had that was solo, I think you sold probably about a bit over 50%, I sold, 60%. Uh, I think 80% of them. Yeah, 80, okay. So if we're gonna take the step up from listed company to really putting our foot forward as maybe a Cox Plate horse, maybe yeah. you know, a nice classic horse, <laughs> I think, I think we've got to hit 90. I reckon. Yeah. That's the plan. Do you know how confident I feel we're going to? But there will be less pieces. Doesn't matter. But they'll be bigger. Doesn't matter either, yeah. I think. So. Because they're going to go. And I'm, I'm thinking there could even be some sculptures. Good. Let's sculpt. I'm thinking of a branch. I mean, you sculpt. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. I think life's barely long enough to get good at one thing and you're pretty good at this. If you want to sculpt, you know, go nuts, bro. Mm. But, you know, don't be distracted about so the I'm, talent you have for the I'm just the trying quill. to decide what the sculptures are going to be based off, whether some of them are the photographs that I've been taking or not. Do you know what I have a sense of? What? I reckon the sculpture is going to be shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because you're going to go, oh, I'm, a, I'm an awesome painter. I bet you I can sculpt too. It's like... No, man, you're just no. an awesome painter, <laughs> you know? He could do it. Yeah. Well, if they're shit, they won't go with yeah, you. Yeah, but just don't waste too much time on them. No, no, no. But I would I would. There you go. So 90%, rough gets us a market, we're chips in. Not only can you be successful, but we'll have a win on the punt too. Yeah. So that sounds like a show that's worth checking out. How are we going to wait till September? Just gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to. All right. Well, I guess we wait because those things that are of enough value to spend time seeing are always the ones worth waiting for. Oh, yeah. 
they're not they? Don't you know. Um, well, thanks for being with us here, Pug, in your studio. Thanks for fucking up my jeans. And um, okay. more importantly, thanks for everything you do for all those people who love you and who are listening. Thanks, mate. Love you. Appreciate it. <laughs>